Hey everybody, it's your girl Nikki Proverbs 31 and I hope you guys can see me in this camera. Um, I'm trying to record from my camera. So a lot has been going on since the last time I came on. I am currently 30 weeks and four days. Yeah, I think something like that. And uh, the last time I came on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to um, pull up my notes. The last time I came on, I told you guys that everything was great and everything was going great or what have you regarding the pregnancy. Um, that next day or a couple of days later, that Friday, I started having contractions and I ended up going to labor and delivery and uh, getting hooked up to the NST. They uh, did see that I was having some contractions. Mainly it was like kind of irritation of the uterus. So what they did was they um, gave me a shot to stop the um, contractions. Then they gave me another shot, the beta shot, to um, help develop the baby's lungs. So I did that first shot. They, it's, it's a two-parter shot. So I do the, did the first shot um, that Friday. Then the next day, I wasn't really feeling the baby move, so I went in early so they could hook me up again to make sure the baby was alright, and then from there, they gave me my second dose. Um, after that, you know, I had some issues with pains and stuff like that, but nothing major. Most of my symptoms are, it's just I have a hard time going to sleep, and when I do fall asleep, I have these crazy, vivid dreams. They're crazy. I, almost, I think every night I wake myself up either screaming, like mad, angry, or crying. And a couple of times I woke myself up laughing. Or my husband has woke me up. Um, da -da 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 -da. I've been having like joint pain, you know, like pelvis, pelvic pain. Um, nerve issues I guess you want to call it swelling of the feet and um, hands and stuff but other than that overall everything is good and regarding the pregnancy I did go to the doctors and um, that was an interesting story I had a doctor's appointment with my doctor but then they had in a um, an ultrasound appointment the ultrasound said that the baby was the was a little bit behind as far as her her stomach and and her measurements but um he gave me a due date of the 19th instead of the 15th what I originally had but we're just going to keep keep with uh January 19th regardless I'll still have the baby delivered when I turn 37 weeks so that'll be the week of Christmas still it may be just later on you know maybe even January 1st but I hope not because um, my husband really wants a tax right off Mm hmm so what else yeah so they gave me a different doctor to see and I'm like I'm tired I have not seen my doctor since early September I would like to see my own doctor um and I've been in there a few times since then and I, I keep getting he keeps like rescheduling me or canceling the appointment and things that nature and I'm like dude are you going to be my doctor or do I need to find someone else um Basically, what he did say is that you're really not high risk. You know, you you're doing well, and um, even gave me the option to go back to my OB. And I'm like, no, I've come this far with you, and I'm not about to go back to an OB who's not who has who doesn't know what I've been going through up until this point. It makes no sense. And that was only because my OB called them and was like, are you her physician or what? Because they was trying to charge me before even having the baby, mind you. Charge me. Um, they wanted me to pay the copay for have for having them to, to deliver the baby. Before I even had the baby. Please, whatever. Anyway, um, so after we did, you know, after I went I went off on them and I was like, I want to see my doctor. Finally talked with him. And uh, he let me know at 33 weeks we'll find, we'll actually have the date for the cesarean section so in regards to um everything else you know some family drama i'm not even gonna go there 
But I do want to give a, say a couple of things. I want to thank um, Cupcake Baby 19 for the coupon for the uh, breastfeed breastfeed and um, cover up. If you want to get the link or whatever, you can inbox me, and I'll give that to you. And I have a lot of responses that I haven't responded. Please forgive me, but we've been doing a lot, a lot of showings, and it's just I'm just tired and just pregnant and just little. So I haven't really been on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a different video because it's some stuff that I want to like. It's like suggestions. And I said I was going to do it before, but I really am going to do it next time. And, but I did want to just uh, go over, wow, I did a lot of notes for this next video. And this is really for people who are trying to, trying to conceive who are considering doing fertility treatments or what have you. These are some things that I wish somebody would have told me and just sat me down and said, you know, these are some important factors that you need to think about before you take on this journey of fertility treatment because, whoo, especially with your marriage, whoo, it could come at you because there's so many different emotions, so much stuff to consider. And um, you want to make sure you count up the cost. And I mean by cost, I don't just necessarily mean mo uh, monetary cost, but also the cost of your marriage, your family, your emotions, your spiritual um, health, everything. That's basically it. I guess I'm going to try to show you quickly what we're doing with the um, nursery if we have some time. I don't know how, how the time is. Let's see. Yeah, we're pretty cool. All right. Okay, so now... Oh, it's so dark in here. Okay, so I'll come from here. This here is a blanket that one of my friends did for the baby. And you guys, I guess we're about to find out the baby's name in just a moment. But here's some stuff. This is the... Um, a lot of the books down there. She got tons of books for the baby shower, some pampers, and some other cleaning products I just got for her. And I have not did her. I'm going to I'm going to organize her drawer because right now it is blue out. Her drawers, and I still have to clean all her stuff. But um, this here is her christening gown or baby dedication gown so we have a lot of stuff in here that I just threw threw in here basically so that um for the showing purposes so without further ado you guys are about to find out the baby's name and her name is Nia and these here are some letters I just bought and then I painted them and you see that these these little uh, thingamajigs, they kind of like match the little things with uh, her bedding set. So we still have a lot to go. Um, this bear says... Amen. All right, so that's that. And her closet is still just as junky as ever. Well, all this stuff I still have to wash. All this stuff. And I bought some more stuff that I need to wash. But that's it for now. And I uh, hope this looks good. But I just want to thank you all and be encouraged. And I am going to do this other video. I'm gonna, I, I guess I'm going to try to do it right now. Oh, baby. Uh, belly shot. Ooh, I hope this look right y'all just see my boobs. <laughs> but here we go. This is us. This is baby Nia in her belly. Alright, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.